Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna describe for you how to annotate images uh, with lines, circles, rectangles, and text. Uh, keep in mind that this also applies to video frames, and so that can be very helpful as well. Uh, so to get started, we're going to uh, read in an image here, and uh, we've got it displayed here in the browser, and we'll be working with this image uh, for the rest of the notebook. But one thing I wanted to point out is that, uh, notice that even though this may have been a grayscale image, um, we're actually reading it in as color, and we're doing that because we want to demonstrate um, annotations in color. Uh, so we'll need to um, have a color image to work with, or a color representation at least. And uh, so let's uh, proceed down to the first section here where we're going to learn about how to draw a line on an image. Now, the OpenCV uh, functions that allow you to annotate images are all very straightforward. Uh, and in this case, uh, the first argument here is the image itself. And then uh, the next two arguments are the uh, first point and last point of the line, and then the color. So those are the four required arguments. And then there's some optional arguments that we'll uh, specifically take a look at as well, including thickness and line type. Uh, so let's uh, scroll down here to the first um, example. So here we're uh, making a copy of the image simply so we can preserve the original image and then annotate a copy. So this one's called image line. And we're going to uh, draw a line on this image. Uh, you can already see it's a yellow line. And we're going to draw it from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.2. So that's 200 along the x-axis and 100 along the y-axis. That's this point here. And then uh, 400 along the x-axis and 100 along the y-axis. So that's this point here. And then we're going to specify uh, yellow. And recall that this has to be in uh, BGR, not RGB, and that's the reason that uh, the last two channels here are 255 to produce yellow from red and green. And then a uh, line thickness of five. And then for the line type, we're using uh, this uh, line underscore AA, which stands for anti-aliased. And uh, that's usually a good choice. It uses uh, semi-transparent pixels and often produces a very smooth and uh, nice looking result. So that's the first example. Uh, the remaining examples will be very similar to this uh, with just uh, some minor variations. Uh, so let's take a look at how to render a circle on an image. In this case, we have to specify the center and radius of the circle here, uh, but everything else is the same in the argument list. So uh, scrolling down to this uh, uh, example, you see we're going to render a circle here at the coordinate 900, 500. So that's uh, 900 along the x-axis and 500 down, and then with a radius of 100. So moving on to uh, rectangles. Again, there's four required arguments, but in this case, uh, point 0.1 and point 0.2 uh, refer to the top left corner of the rectangle and the bottom right corner of the rectangle. Uh, but again, all the other arguments are the same, and the um, specifications are all the same. So in this case, um, we're going to uh, draw a rectangle around this launch tower here. The upper left corner of the rectangle is at 500, 100, which you can see here. And then the lower right is 700, 600, which is right here. And we're going to specify a different color for that. And then uh, finally, uh, moving on to text. Text is a little bit different. There's obviously some additional arguments. The first argument here is the text string. Uh, the next argument is the origin of the text and that refers to the um, bottom left corner of the text string where that's going to be placed on the image. And then the font face, uh, you might also think of that as the um, font style. And then uh, font scale is, is a floating point number that scales the font size. And then again, we have some optional arguments here. So um, just taking a look at this example here, uh, we're setting uh, several of the arguments right here. So the text string is here. We're setting a font scale of 2.3. The font face is uh, font Hershey plain. Uh, if you go to the documentation link here, you can uh, find out what uh, font faces are available. And I just selected this one. And then the font color is going to be bright green and the font thickness of two. And then I've got the um, origin right here for the text string. So that's 200, 700. So that's just right here at the lower left hand base of that text string. So that's really it. Uh, annotations using OpenCV are very straightforward and simple. And uh, that's all we wanted to cover in this video. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.